Well, this is our campsite for this weekend, the 4th of July weekend. Sunlight Bay Campground in Arkansas on Nimrod Lake. This is the loop we are in. Still a couple that's empty. Lots of woods behind us. And I am fixing to go back in and try some of Ashley's mushroom coffee. See you later. Okay, this is the beginning of a trail that we're fixing to follow. So let's go see where it goes. Dutch Creek Mountain Road. I call this area Dutch Creek Mountain anyway. It, it may be what it's referred to as. And we've already done some of Dutch Creek Mountain uh, Road from the east side. And if I recall right, we ended up running into a lot of overgrowth and it got too bad. Uh, I was afraid I was going to scratch the Cherokee up pretty good. Yes, I do worry about the paint job on my Cherokee. This is a nice vehicle and I'd like to keep it that way. Uh, if I can buff them out, no big deal. But when it starts getting to the point to where they're not going to buff out, then I'd rather not put those on this vehicle. I had an older vehicle or something I really didn't care as much about, then sure, I'd plow on through this stuff, but that's just not me uh, for this vehicle. And on this west side that we're continuing to traverse, we did run into more of the overgrowth, and it got to the point to where I was not going to continue on. But we did get quite a ways on this west side and we passed several dispersed campsites that we can share with y'all and uh, we also saw a uh, used to be a forest tower up there i'm pretty sure now there is uh, cell towers but the footings from the forest lookout tower are still there we had a few down trees uh, a couple of them we were able to go around Looked like somebody had already kind of crushed them and went around them. But the trails, uh, not bad at all, really. We did hit a mud hole. And uh, you can tell by looking at the natural surface of this road that if it was rainy, that some of these areas would be very muddy and slick. Uh, during dry season like it is right now, it's just dusty. Very hot. Uh, I ended up having a lot of problem with my uh, action cameras. I uh, got what I could uh, on this particular route, but the uh, routes we do later on in the day, it was just so hot that they didn't want to work. So we got a lot of pictures. Uh, and like I said, this one is just this stretch across Dutch Mountain here. And then we have some more that we've done in other areas that we'll be sharing later. But on those, it's mainly going to be pictures uh, about the areas. So I hope you enjoy this one. I know it's a lot of driving, but I just wanted to show what the area up here looks like. And if you want to fast forward through some of it, feel free to. Uh, if you just like watching all the scenery and stuff like we do, then uh, sit back with a cup of coffee and enjoy the ride. But thanks for watching. Be sure, if you're not subscribed already, to hit that subscribe button because we sure appreciate it. But after we do this section, we are going to go do some more sections. And then we'll get back to our campsite. I already have a video up on our channel uh, previous, uh, before this video, uh, about the campsite. And we check out uh, some of Nimrod Lake and Nimrod Dam and then uh, the dam campground and prospect campground i think it's called prospect point campground just a quick little tour of that 
the dam is very cool if you've never been to Nimrod Lake Dam I suggest you go check that out and uh, be sure to check our video out on that but uh, that's going to be it for now I'm not going to do a lot of talking on this video uh, I may try to add some music or something like that uh, I may just leave the wind blowing on the action camera but anyway I hope y'all enjoy it and we'll holler at you later
Okay, this is the first section of Dutch Mountain Trail or road that we're uh, mapping. And I'm gonna stop the first section right here. It's a big opening. If a person wanted to camp here, he could. Not a lot of shade right on this spot. Pretty good view back there. You're up pretty high here, top of this hill. And we just come from the down that way. And we are headed back more northwest. But this is the end of this section. This is, this is beginning section two on Dutch Mountain. Section one ended right there. There's a camp spot that if you wanted to camp, you could. We come on up a little ways, beginning of section uh, two, and here is another camp spot right here. And we are headed northwest.
Got some tight trails here. Might get a little bit of light pinstriping so far on this trail. Lots of berries. But I'm gonna hop in and we're gonna continue up this trail and see what else it has to offer. We are still on section two of this Dutch mountain road and this is a spot we pulled off because there's a nice picture opportunity over there and just across the road there is another picture opportunity, picture opportunity. having a lot of fun let's go on down the road
All right, I'm on end the second section of Dutch Mountain and this pull off. If you can tell this road in places could be pretty muddy if it was wet. Look over right there. You got a little bit of overlook right there. It's just a small pull off spot. If you just wanted to pull off, pop up a tent for the night, it could be done. And then we're going to continue on northwest. But yeah, there's plenty of room here you could pop up and stay a night and continue on. Okay, guys, we're at the beginning kind of of section three of Dutch Mountain. And now there used to be a fire tire right here. You can see the pedestals. One there, one over there, one here, and probably one under that tree. And as you can tell, this trail's starting to get pretty grown up. Looks like there may be a log down. We're going to go a little ways, but if it continues like that, we're not going to continue. Okay, we're on track three of Dutch Mountain and it is pretty grown up we found this nice open area right here if a person wanted to or needed to stop for the night could pop up the rooftop tent or there's room for a ground tent if you had to but uh just be aware that the brush is thick or tall well i stopped here i'm gonna walk up a little ways i don't mind a few pins nice butterfly there even getting it there it goes anyway there's a lot of limbs hanging down here and it seems like this trail a road just keeps getting worse with the underbrush and limbs hanging out and I just don't want to scratch up my Cherokee all the pieces now, if I was in an older Jeep or older vehicle I didn't really care about, I'd take it to there. And the trail, it's all natural materials, and it's not bad. It's just you need to go through and cut all the sides of the trail off so you don't get all scratched up. So we're not going to continue. We're going to end our third section right up there where the tree limbs start taking over the trail. I know there's some of y'all that would plow right through this. All I can say on that is to each their own. And uh, we're gonna have to backtrack to through everything that we came through because there is no side road cutting across to get out of here so we're just going to backtrack the same way we came in and where we stop see it's open up here not bad at all all this way and as soon as you get through this right here it may be okay after a bit but we're not going to chance it maybe one day we'll come in from the other way so that's it for now